I couldn't really tell whether Rahm Emanuel was entering McCormick Place or exiting wherever he was. I, I think he's been he's there. at McCormick yeah. Place? He's actually inside, and I okay. think he's been there for a while tonight. Mm -hmm. So he's also waiting for the uh, president to arrive then. President, and we presume the whole family, would want to be a part of this joyous celebration. Malia and Sasha were flown in after school this afternoon, arriving um, at O'Hare late afternoon to spend this election night with their father, the family having dinner at their home in Kenwood, uh, with, uh, the first lady's brother and his family as well, watching some returns there. Before the president um, went to the Fairmont again, he was there earlier today, and then he went back this evening after having dinner um, hit at his home in uh, Hyde Park. And now, the... the, the um this was a possibility all along. If you look at these numbers, 49, 48% Mitt Romney over Barack Obama, the, the statisticians who studied polls and the Electoral College and the popular vote have, have said all along that it was possible in this campaign for Mitt Romney to win the popular vote by as much as 1.5% and still not win the Electoral College. Uh, the, the simple fact of our world today is that it is a much more difficult road for Republicans through the Electoral College than it is for Democrats. Uh, many years ago, a couple decades ago, the absolute reverse of that was true. It was, it was much harder for Democrats than it was Republicans, but that's the reality of the political world we live in now. We are joined by former Illinois Governor Jim Edgar, and it is a delight to have you with us here on the set, sir. Uh, Mr. Edgar...